Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Uh, finally here with the first part of the recap from the DL War. And um, this one's just taking a look at the Town Hall 11s. So like I said, I'm breaking into Town Hall 11s, Town Hall 10s, and Town Hall 9s. Uh, just to show you guys a number of attacks. Um, and it's easier to break it up for me to make the videos about 10 minutes long instead of making one big uh, 20 plus minute one. So um, anyway, taking a look at a few attacks and... Um, First thing we're going to look at is a Town Hall 10 attack on a Town Hall 11. Uh, so I guess this qualifies as a Town Hall 11 attack um, just for the purpose of this video. I'm not going to put it in the Town Hall 10 video. Uh, so anyway, uh, Predator taken out number one. Uh, and for a Town Hall 10 to be able to go up and two star a Town Hall 11, and obviously got very high percentage, but just to be able to get the two star on a Town Hall 11, it frees up um, our Town Hall 11s to try to 3-star their Town Hall 10s, which is much easier than our 10s having to try to 3-star. Um, obviously, it didn't quite work out that way this war, but um, if if people like Predator can consistently get these 2-stars on the Town Hall 11s, um, that's going to really free up a lot of possibilities, not just in our clan, but in the uh, war community in general. And we might see a lot more Town Hall uh, 10 3-stars uh, because Town Hall 11s will be able to dip down and... Uh, they have a very good chance of three-starring Town Hall 10s, assuming the Town Hall 10s can cover for them and two-star uh, the enemy Town Hall 11s. But anyway, uh, Predator is showing us uh, one thing that I haven't seen that much, but it it looks, every time I see it, it seems like it works out really well. Now, obviously, there are some fails with this, but it's the dragon attack at Town Hall 10-11 uh, with those level 5 dragons. Um, they're pretty, pretty powerful stuff, and... Um, the queen walk at the beginning. Obviously, time's not that big of an issue in a two-star attack. So he's doing a nice long queen walk around the base, just getting all these defenses taken out. I like the wall breakers, basically letting his queen enter that compartment and then letting her leave it as well. Uh, so just kind of the entry-exit wall breakers that we've been seeing more often. Uh, so the queen's going to continue to walk around. Uh, the king's going to hop on her in just a moment, so has to drop the rage uh, to keep her up. And um, also the point, two-point defense for honor. So uh, keeping the queen up, very good. She's going to keep walking as soon as that king goes down. Uh, step up and take out that expo, and then continue south on her walk. Now the one thing I like is he's leaving a little bit of a trail uh, for his dragons to follow. You can see that one air sweeper, just uh, because the queen can't reach it, does not go down. I'm not sure whether or not it was planned to be like a little uh, point for the dragons to attack. But it worked out that way, so it's basically going to pull the dragons into the base because uh, that's the first thing they're going to target. He's just going to drop them right behind where the queen did her queen walk. Uh, she's taken out a huge section of this base, which is very nice. Um, and she's going to get a little bit low right here, but um, she'll walk around the base and get out of range of that expo for a moment, or at least take down that archer tower. Uh, so there's only one point defense, and then she'll, she'll get out of the range of the cannon in just a moment. So uh, healers will get her back up on health a little bit. Here come the dragons all bunched up. Uh, there is the eagle artillery, but it's not going to do that much damage to dragons. Uh, it's mainly, it targets the golems, which is the main threat. Uh, so anyway, the dragons come in here. There are a few Teslas, but under rage, those dragons just destroy the core of the base. Uh, pops the queen's ability on the outside to keep her up. Drops the freeze. That's going to uh, disable the eagle for a moment. Uh, very nice there. Town hall is already down. It went down very quickly. And then has the king up top to get a little bit more percentage. Uh, the dragons are also taking out a few other buildings. So already at 75% and still making his way through. Uh, time is actually what stops the attack because the dragons go down, but the queen could have gone a lot longer, um, assuming the eagle artillery didn't eat her up too much. And she uh, runs out of time right here after she takes out uh, the builder's hut, I believe. Uh, so it gets a very nice, or doesn't even get the shot off. So 78%. Still very, very high percentage, especially for a Town Hall 10 going up and three-starring a Town Hall 11. So very, very nice stuff there by Predator. Um, now we're going to take a look at some Town Hall uh, 11s, attacking Town Hall 11s. So the first one I want to show is if I can find it here. A um, little ways down, but we have Quiet Death. Uh, number two, there he is, taken on Hexius. And we really had trouble with this base. Um... Our Town Hall 11s just could not seem to three star it, or sorry, to two star it. Um, so we're looking at Quiet Death first, and then we'll take a look at Crispy Crunch on number one attempt to, to uh, two star it. So dropping down some golems, 
I uh, don't think the Eagles, the, the Eagle just was activated, so a little bit of delay, but there it goes. Uh, Wizards to back everything up, and then wall breakers in in just a moment. Uh, or just beats through the wall, I guess. Yeah, just lets his troops beat through the wall. Uh, drops the Warden down, he's going to protect everything. Has the King, the Queen, everything making its way in. Uh, very, very high value freeze there, getting all three of those defenses. I think the Eternal to, uh, t Tomb was early, because the freeze was already down, and they both had the same purpose. Uh, they take damage off the troops. So by dropping or by activating the Eternal Tomb that early, I think that was a mistake. Right now would be a better time to have it. So a little bit early on that, I think, and that might may or may not have uh, cost him the two star. But anyway, the queen uh, has to pop the ability. She's very low on health, and then everything just kind of avoided the town hall. The golems went around. Uh, the Pekka got roasted by the um, Teslas, I believe. So a little bit of a tricky base, I guess. He had these balloons and minions to try to get percentage. Uh, he's only at 29%, so kind of a, a bum rush to the town hall that didn't actually get the town hall, I guess. Um, obviously, he gets a lot more percentage. We'll fast forward as he does this uh, from from these minions and the balloons and stuff, but doesn't get 50%. So a uh, good try. Uh, obviously, he's like everyone's in new town hall 11, uh, so still learning the stuff, but uh, keep working on it. Uh, not, not too far from the two-star. All right, um, we're going to take a look at Crispy Crunch on number two as well. Um, I mean, I know these are kind of failed attacks, but I think it's it's fun to still watch Town Hall 11 gameplay, especially with these maxed out bases. Crispy Crunch has a maxed out offense, so, you know, as high level as you can get. And, it, you know, it's um, you can learn from the fails, too. So something fun that I like to watch. I hope you guys uh, like watching these Town Hall 11 attacks, despite... Um, kind of the bad outcome for the attacker. But anyway, uh, Crispy Crunch is going with a nice wide attack on this base. Obviously, this is a cleanup, so he's looked at what um, <clears throat> at what Quiet Death did and uh, thought he could do a little bit differently. Comes in with the jumps uh, and the golems on the sides, I guess. That's going to basically try to funnel his main uh, group of troops into the middle of the base. Has a jump to let them on in. Drops the rage maybe a tad early, but has the rage going down. And I think that was a good use of the Eternal Tomb. He saw a bunch of giant bombs uh, about to go off and decided he might want to save his witches, his wizards. So that wasn't too early in my opinion. Uh, but the Lava Hound uh, busts, which distracts his troops a little bit. And then right here, there's just so much damage next to that town hall. Um, and the Eagle Artillery <coughs> gets a few more shots off before it goes down. Uh, the Wizard Tower is still up, hurting his witches. Everything just kind of got... Uh, roasted in the core i guess you could say the single inferno obviously did some stuff plus those expos are all on ground so they can basically cover the entire midsection of the base the warden is the last thing to go down and just has a few archers uh which he doesn't even drop so um tough base uh and that's that we also had a town hall 11 uh, which they could not uh two star uh, which was crispy crunch so uh town hall 11s i guess the moral of the story is that they're still learning the attacks and um I believe, yeah, that was a Town Hall 11 attack, so uh, we, I showed that last video, or the video before, I can't remember, but um, we're still seeing uh, some growing pains with Town Hall 11s, but I think, uh, like we saw in this war, uh, basically, if Town Hall 10s can uh, go down, Town Hall, or, sorry, if Town Hall 10s can go up in uh, two-star Town Hall 11s, uh, then that'll free up the Town Hall 11s to go down and uh, two star or three star of the town hall tens. There we go. A um, little bit confusing, but anyway, uh, next video coming out is going to have the town hall tens. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, hope you enjoyed this one though. See you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.